Xbox on. Greetings gamers, Ian Higton from Eurogamer here, hopefully with some words of reassurance for those Xbox One owners out there who are worried about how Microsoft's recent decision to start selling Kinect free units might affect their future gaming experiences. Now this might get a little tech speak heavy, but basically when the Xbox One launched, 10% of the console's GPU or graphics processing unit was reserved for use with the Kinect sensor. This month however, Microsoft began selling the Xbox One without Kinect for a reduced price, and to coincide with that, unlock the 10% GPU reserve for developers to use as they see fit. Understandably, this has led to fears that Kinect users would not be able to use some of its features, such as voice control and game capture, but Xbox executives that Eurogamer spoke with at E3 last week denied this was the case. Lots of people ask, so you're taking back the GPU reserve for Kinect? Well, does that mean I can't say Xbox record that? No, you can always say that. Microsoft Studios creative director Ken Lobb told Eurogamer. What Microsoft has done is create a flexible system where, according to Lobb, the Xbox One's GPU and RAM can bounce. So if someone says Xbox record that, it will work on 100% of the games if you have a Kinect. If you don't have a Kinect, it's not like you have more RAM, Lobb clarified. Microsoft has optimised the Xbox One's background operating system to support flipping back and forth. It listens to the player sometimes and then pulling back if it's needed for a frame to go, he said record that and go record this thing. And you have to count for that whether you're using Kinect or not, but you get the full memory and the full bandwidth. It's worth noting that if a developer creates a Kinect free game, gesture controls and visual recognition features are suspended while the game is running. As soon as you minimise the game, however, all of the Kinect functionality will return. How games use the extra horsepower will be up to developers, Lob added. Bungie has already been able to increase the resolution and frame rate of its game Destiny on Xbox One to hit 1080p 30 matching the PlayStation 4 version. Other developers, however, might use it differently. You have more GPU, so go ahead and use it how you want, Lob said. It's more GPU plus more bandwidth to the GPU, so they both matter. So for some games it might be resolution, it might be frame rate, or it might be, let's throw in more enemies. The performance enhancements Microsoft has triggered in the Xbox One are all a part of our platform improvement, Microsoft Studios Europe boss Phil Harrison told Eurogamer. The libraries developers get at the beginning of the life of a platform are radically different to the ones they will get 5, 8 and 10 years later, he said. Our job as a platform is to make sure we give fans the features that make their gaming experience better, and to give developers the tools to make the most of our chipset. We have to do both of those in balance. This new set of libraries are available to developers right now, Harrison said. As mentioned, Destiny is already making use of it, but Harrison expects other games due out in time for Christmas will also benefit. Many developers will use that performance benefit to enhance and improve the graphical look or resolution or frame rate of a game. We've already seen news that Bungie will increase the graphics performance of Destiny, and as other developers get their hands on the libraries in the next days and weeks, that will become tangible and impactful in games that ship this holiday. Ken Lobb added that he thought the decision to sell Xbox One without Kinect was super smart, but he remains a big fan of the sensor. So, I love Kinect, he said. To me, it's not the thousand things it does. I record shit all the time and I say Xbox on. So, for me, those two things, the hundred bucks, doesn't matter for me. For a lot of people, it does. And so, we've got to give you an option to pick. Do you want to say Xbox on? Do you want to say Xbox record that? Do you want to dance? No? Then you don't need the device. I think that's super smart. But do you think it's super smart? Let us know your reactions to the removal of Kinect and the addition of extra processing power in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more daily video gamey goodness here on Eurogamer. Righty ho, thanks for watching. Sorry to rush off, but I've got an important phone call to make. See you soon. Yo.